running kimono, so I am just gonna talk about my empties. I'm gonna call this the end of summer coupon or empties because I have quite a few. I'm just gonna tell you my honest opinion of some of these items and um, yeah, maybe you could tell me in the notes if you tried any of these items and uh, what your thoughts are on them. The first thing is the L'Oreal Revitalift. Um, it's a makeup cleaning uh, towelette and I'm gonna say that these are really great. Um, I got these a couple years ago at a CVS. For next to nothing and I think I got like close to 10 of them so um, this is one of my last ones and it's just a really nice uh, refreshing um, towelette to take off your makeup. The next little guy is this caress. Uh, this is a no longer available scent. It is in the grapefruit pink grapefruit essence and it smelled more like lemons and it was just a really nice um, pleasing smell and uh, I used to use this quite often for bubble baths. Um, I bought a whole bunch on clearance for I think 50 cents each uh, a couple years ago and this was the last of them so I really did enjoy this guy. Mouthwash, we have the Colgate uh, 12 hour Pro Shield. Uh, this guy was totally for free at a Rite Aid, um, I think about a month back or so. Um, really enjoyed this mouthwash. Um, it's really great and it has that alcohol in it, or no, it's alcohol free, but it still has a really good bite. Um, I like Listerine or anything with a really he heavy um, alcohol base because I just find it really cleans your teeth great. Now we have the Aveeno. This is a face cleanser. It's called Smart Essentials. I got this for free at a Meyer with one of those high value Aveeno coupons last winter. And I'm gonna say it was okay. I usually find any sort of mask like this, it really doesn't do what it says it's gonna do, like brighten your skin or make you look like Cindy Crawford. I just, ah, I wasn't very impressed. Another really overpriced uh, face cleaner is this by Burt's Bees. It's called the Brightening Daily Facial Cleanser by Burt's Bees. I find this stuff to be really overpriced it was on a clearance at Walmart last winter so I bought it with a coupon but it doesn't ever do what it says and I still look old and haggard and angry so um kind of a fail from Burt's Bees I kind of expect a bit more I wish they would just stick to like making um lip products like lip balms and that sort of stuff they've branched out so much that I think their products are just not what they were a couple years ago have biotine uh, this is a really great uh, mouth rinse they also make mouth lozenges um, and it's just if you've had something really salty like pizza or Chinese food use a little bit of this you feel like a new couponer so I really enjoy it um, I tried this guy I have never really enjoyed any sort of um, whitening um, mouthwash it leaves a very weird film inside of my mouth and I tried this and it tasted very chemically so I dumped it out I you know after you use some of it it's not an item that you can donate nor would I ever give it to anybody like a family member or something like that so this was a fail this big mama was from last spring and I have been using this liquid soap to make hand soap with it um, I have a video on how to make um, liquid hand soap with regular soap there's a little bit of water in here. Um, so I will link that in the notes if you wanna know how to do it. You just need a really good um, soap dispenser. Um, but I, this is what I've been using since about May. So I really like this one. Now this was one of my Walgreens specials. I got this at a 90% off clearance and it's some sort of pure cleaner clay mask. Um, this, I'm gonna be really honest, it started to stain um, my bathtub and it was also staining um, I have a white shower curtain, so it was just a friggin' mess, and it's like a red clay. So let's just take a look. Yeah, so I used it a couple times, and now I'm gonna throw it out because I had to buy a new shower curtain, so no thanks, Mr. L'Oreal. This was a special gift from a very good friend. It's one of these Bath and Body Works. Um, it has some crystals in it. It's like a hand soap. It's really nice. And this had really nice notes of uh, marshmallows. So I really enjoyed this. Dove dry spray. Um, I don't really enjoy dry sprays. I like deodorant a lot better. My mom loves these and I recently was on the phone with her. And she's like, oh, can I have a whole bunch of these? I really need some. And I'm like, I haven't been buying them. So I'm going to have to get creative and find some for her on the cheap. But um, I will never use this again. I'm gonna buy it for my mom. I just not a fan of the Dove line, so this isn't for me. Okay, now we have some Biore, this face cleaner. Um, this is a deep pore charcoal cleaner. Um, I got this at a Kmart, I think last summer, 
like two summers ago now. Um, this is really nice, especially in the morning. You put this on your face and you really feel awake. Like it has that eucalyptus sharp smell. It wakes you up. It's like a cup of coffee in your face. I really enjoyed this product. I have some Happy Holiday um, body wash from Tony Moly. This is a very bland, fragrance-free kind of body wash. I think this is my last one, so I am going to have to stock up next year when Ulta has that sale. Um, this is just a phenomenal product. Love the Tony Moly line. And now I have an Aveeno body wash. Um, this is one of those uh, guys from Walgreens a couple months ago when they were like 40 cents each. Um, love it. One thing I do notice though, look at the spout of this thing. It's quite massive. So when you use it, the amount of product that comes out is a whole lot compared to other body washes. Let's just get that one from Caress and we'll do a little comparison. See how big that is? I'm noticing I'm just pouring through the body wash when I use this little guy. This took a really long time. Look at the shape, the sizes. So, Vino, I love your product, but I see that you have such a giant hole because people like me just guzzle through it. So I am on to you. So I'm gonna use a lot less when I take a shower. From Walgreens, this age-defying um, cream. I'm gonna say I paid like 80 cents for this guy and it is an absolutely phenomenal product. I think I got an Ibotta rebate on it too, so it was free, but it's a great product. Um, close to $14. Um, if I had a lot of money, I would just buy nothing but this. It's a really nice face cream. The um, Venus Swirl, um, I really love this product. I don't like the one that's like um, the nut one or it's like um, shea butter or whatever, but this one, I really love the smell. So this is my second Aveeno body wash that I went through. And this is the yogurt one. I did not like this as much as the regular one, but um, I do have a lot of yogurt ones, so I will be using a lot of this. And let's look at the spout really quick. Yup, there you go, another um, big spiller, this guy. I just find I go through the Aveeno body wash like water because um, of that spout. And we have the Mario Badescu cleaning cleansing lotion. Um, this was just like a toner water, really expensive. Now that I coupon like crazy, I would never pay for this sort of thing, like full price. But back in the day, this is a couple years old. I mean, I've had no problem spending like $30 on one of these guys. You can get them at Ulta. I do like the Mario Badescu line, but it's a bit expensive for me, so. That's a no. Two of these Chic razors. Um, I just used them one day because it's the only razors I had upstairs. And I gotta say, I absolutely tore up my legs and it was like, I had some bug bites and then I used these and it ripped up my legs terribly. So these, never again. I do not like them. Hair mask by Pantene. This guy was free a couple weeks ago at Meyer. Um, I'm gonna say it was okay. Um, it really didn't do what it said it would do and it made my hair very greasy the next day like the first day it was fantastic i had pantene perfect hair the second day i looked like a greasy mess so i'm gonna say didn't really enjoy this guy a little tiny sample that i got from sephora of this moroccan um oil for the hair i have a lot of hair and this stuff is absolutely phenomenal i love it when sephora has this guy as a sample as it's just it's worth its weight in gold fantastic product Lori um bar of soap I love the face cleaner that I showed you guys earlier. This guy, um, yeah, I didn't really enjoy it, so I'm throwing this giant rock out. And the final thing for this, uh, you guys know I have um, insomnia problems. It's probably why I make so many videos in the wee hours of the night. But um, I purchased this all the time, and it's from Walgreens, and it's a sleep aid, and I have been using this for the last couple months, and it really helps me fall asleep and I don't wake up in the middle of the night. I found that NyQuil and those sort of products, my feet would move around a lot or I would wake up frequently, but this, it's a solid night of sleep. So that's it for now, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the notes if any of these products um, are one of your favorites. I'd love to hear about it, and I will see you guys in the next one.